funeral yesterday at uh, Lakeley Crematorium. Um, and I looked before me and I saw a great host of trauma, regrets, anger, frustration, neglect. How did I feel about the whole thing? Nothing. Out of respect for my niece, Carrie Newman, I kept my mouth shut, controlled myself. I've always struggled to understand how people, crocodile tears, crocodile tears. Don't know. But obviously I will process it the way I process things. Um, Cause my emotions and feelings are kind of switched off. And it's very frustrating on occasion, but I suppose for funerals and things like that in life, it's not so bad. I could be wrong in saying that, but I don't know. I saw perpetrators playing victim. Strange, isn't it? You know, you always sit back and you wonder if life would have give that girl a different card if she'd had the right people around her or was she destined to go the way she went and the most um, notable thing for me was the coffin me and one of my nephews brought it out of the house that's how fucking light it was it was very small I wasn't expecting that caught me, that caught me off guard didn't take six men to carry that coffin, only needed four. And then if I wanted to, I could literally have picked it up, put it on my shoulder and placed it in the hearse myself. That's how light it was. So the understanding of that and the size of that coffin tells me a lot about the state of my niece, uh, her body, and what state her body was in prior to death, weeks before death. So she would definitely fall on fighting the demons again, 100% without question. Just the size of that coffin tells me a lot. Because she wasn't, um, she wasn't a small girl. She's small in height, but she, she always had meat on the bones. And that wasn't a coffin for um, uh, <laughs> for a person with meat on the bones. So, now is a time of processing, understanding. Um, has it brought peace? No, but like I said, the funeral would not bring peace. It, it woke up a lot of um, frustrations past memories and other things and it's it is what it is but it's the processing of that in such a way that I don't then go and punch the lights out of someone else that's what's important it's a strange feeling boys and girls I've got to tell you now it was like a child's coffin that's what it felt like it's the smallest one I've ever seen for an adult in a long, long, long time. And for the man who likes to play victim, we are now aware of you. A man who cannot take responsibility for his actions and his bullshit and his manipulations and his twistings against other people 
who then proceeds to play the victim after being the abuser, the manipulator and the twisted individual, that's wrong. I don't like that type of behaviour. I grew up with it. It's not my cup of tea. And at some point, I am 1000% sure justice will be served.